at the betting windows. The crowd favors the male of the species, Quick Chief at seven to 10. Patty's pick and stablemate Reed Knight are held at five to two. Meadow Ace at four to one, and the others are real long shots. Here come the two heat winners. That's Dottie's pick with Del Miller up. And right behind here is Quick Chief with Billy Houghton in the soft. Highly coached, Newark, Ohio, ready to send them on their way in the third in the payoff day. Rapid Chief breaks out of there quick with Night Chief and Quick Chief on the rail. It's Rapid Chief that grabs the early lead. Meadow Ace moving through on the inside is Park. Dottie's pick drops in on the rail. It's Quick Chief grabbing the lead now. Meadow Ace moving up on the outside is Park second. Rapid Chief is third. Dottie's pick is pacing fourth. Night Chief is fifth. The time, 29 and three-fifths to the quarter. It's Convair six. Sea Eagle seventh. Reed's night eight. Cheetah Goose ninth and King Creed tenth. As they come around the turn in slow motion of the halfway mark, that's Quick Chief on the lead. Rapid Chief is second. Meadow Ace on the outside is third. Dottie's pick is now fourth. Night Chief is fifth. Con Bear is sixth. Sea Eagle is seventh. As they hit the half, the time one minute. And it's Quick Chief on the lead. Rapid Chief on the rail second. Meadow Ace is third. And it's Dottie's pick fourth. As they go to that turn, Night Chief is fifth. Con Bear is sixth. Sea Eagle seventh. Needs Knight is eighth. Cheetah Goose ninth. And King Creed tenth. As they move down to the three quarter mark. It's Quick Chief on that lead now. Meadow Ace parked and going the long way is tiring. Rapid Chief is moving through on the inside and Duddy's pick coming on the outside fast now. The three-quarter time in 131 and two-fifths. It's Quick Chief and can Duddy's pick catch him in this third heat? It's Quick Chief coming for home. Duddy's pick moving fast. Sea Eagle coming from way back is now trying to get in the money. But it's Quick Chief opening up the three lanes. He's going to get it all. Quick Chief in the little brown jug. Duddy's pick second, and Sea Eagle from way back got in there for third. The time was two minutes and two fifths. Another phenomenal mile and another hard-earned and well-merited victory for Quick Chief and Billy Houghton. For Billy, that's his first little brown jug victory, although he won a heat with Wilmington Star in 1952. An honor guard of Marines convoys the pretty little brown jug queens who will make the trophy presentation. Owner Frolick was ill today and unable to attend. Driver Houghton says his owner is suffering from a bad case of brown jug butterflies in the stomach. Quick Chief, bred by the Two Gates Farm, Carmel, Indiana, has been a great colt this year, but just a month ago he came down sick after winning the $70,000 Kane Futurity. Houghton turned him out for 10 full days before beginning to prep him for what turned out to be a most magnificent Jug Day performance. Here's a side view of the winner and a close-up of the presentation group. And a close-up of Billy Houghton himself, a great American rangeman at the tender age of 31. Mrs. Houghton joins the trophy circle for this shot, and now Billy and Quick Chief accept the victory blanket which will hang in Mr. Froelich's den. Quick Chief and Houghton prepare to depart the scene. Up the track once to say hello to their fans in that direction. And then back to the barn for a good night's rest. For tomorrow's another day, and there are other races coming up. But none so important as the Little Brown Jug.